Okay, now uh, we need to program the respawning of our player with a checkpoint. So let's create our first checkpoint. Let's make an empty object. And this object we're gonna call let check checkpoint, sorry. Checkpoint, something like that. Okay, then let's put this, uh, let's give a green label and we need to put this checkpoint right into the uh, the beginning of our label so let's see here is where our player is going to reappear once he gets killed okay so let's put it right here okay now um we need to um to make some level manager right here so um this level manager can control um when our player player gets killed so let's uh, make a new empty object and uh, I really um, do not need to put this, this level manager in any place uh, exactly but uh, I'm going to call this level manager okay now let's go to scripts and let's create a new C sharp script and we're going to call this script level manager okay and we need to assign this script level manager to our object level manager okay Let's see great now um let's create another script another c sharp script this is going to be called checkpoints Okay, and we need to assign these checkpoints to our checkpoint object. Okay, now uh, let's go to our um, level manager. Oops, level manager. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to say level manager like this, and I'm going to change. Okay, level manager, great, and our script, okay, level manager, great. Mm, let's create a new function right here. Let's say public void is going to be respawn player. And let's make, uh, let's check first, print, okay player respawn okay let's do some testing first and say now let's go to our player health and let's may let's call it as a variable our new script so let's say public level manager be our level manager okay and let's go to the start function and we need to initialize the our level manager is equals find object of type our level manager okay great Let's save and in here in our player health let's make a new function this is going to be a public void player kill okay mm -hmm. oops and let's say okay if um, current health is 
less or equals to zero, then we need to call our level manager dot respawn player. Okay, now let's save the script and let's go to our update function where we can call the method player kill. Okay. Right. Now uh, let's go to Unity and we need to um, to check to make the testing so okay I have my player and I want my player to go yes okay so uh, here we have uh, our player respawn with this working we um, in the next video I'm going to uh, to work with the respawning uh, programming. So I'll see you in the next lesson.